Welcome to the Tasting Glass here on the Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News Network. I'm your host, Dean Zarbaugh. Here are just some of the events going on around Ohio. Krampus Candy returns on Krampus Knocked December 5th from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. to the Phoenix Brewing Company. Celebrate the return of one of the Phoenix's favorite drafts. A delicious white stout infused with grog from Relax It's Just Coffee gives it a light golden color loaded with notes of coffee roastedness, butterscotch, and caramel. For more information, check out Phoenix Brewing Company on Facebook. Hightower Brewing Company is releasing their Deep Dark Stout on December 6th from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. The Deep Dark Stout is a 14% imperial stout conditioned on Elijah Craig oak, bourbon vanilla beans, and local maple syrup. Released for the first time ever in 22-ounce wax top bombers, the perfect Christmas gift for craft beer lovers. $10 per bottle, available on draft with a limit of one 8-ounce pour per person. No growler fills will be available. For more information, check out Hightower Brewing Company on Facebook. Westside Brewing Company is doing it again. Tacky for a Cause is back December 8th at 6 p.m. What started as a gathering of friends over the holidays is now, nine years later, a way to make an impact on the lives of families who look to Cincinnati's Children's Hospital Medical Center for care and support when they need it most. Wear your holiday gear and join Westside for the Tri-State's most festive holiday party, Tacky for a Cause. Your attendance and participation will support the incredible work at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Be festive, be thirsty, be generous. For more information, check out Westside Brewing Company on Facebook. Arche Brewing Company is holding a toy drive for Toys for Tots on December 6th starting at 11 a.m. 100% of the proceeds from their NEO IPA and their beer cheese pretzels will go towards Toys for Tots on this day as well. Marines will be dropping by from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. this night to collect and pick up the toys. For more information, check out Arche Brewing Company on Facebook. Every Tuesday, Platform Beer Company likes to appreciate and support the many amazing nonprofit organizations in Cleveland. This Tuesday, December 4th, they will be teaming up with Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, Northeast Ohio Chapter. One dollar of every Platform Beer sold will go directly to their organization. For more information, check out Platform Beer Company on Facebook. Throwing it back to the Gauls sacking Rome in 390 BC, Endeavor Brewing Company is celebrating their newest beer release, Gaul Brute IPA. Put on your best toga and join Endeavor Brewing Company on Saturday, December 8th, starting at 5 p.m. The first 50 attendees get a free Endeavor beer glass. Gall Brute IPA weighs in at a hefty 11% ABV. Elegantly hop forward and sublimely dry. This beer is a symphony of flavors, apricot, honey, and lime. For more information, check out Endeavor Brewing Company on Facebook. Celebrate the season with 13 Below Brewery while supporting their local Habitat for Humanity on December 8th starting at 11.30 a.m. Enjoy your favorite 13 Below beer, live music, and food from the Big Greek Food Truck. Stay tuned to 13 Below's Facebook page for more information. Join Masthead at the brewery Saturday, December 8th at 11 a.m. for the release of two taproom exclusive cans and draft pours. The first is Flat Earth, a double New England IPA featuring 8% ABV. They threw brewing science to the curb with this beer and added an unbelievably stupid amount of hops at every step of the process. Logic and reason need not apply. Flat Earth will retail for $19.99 plus tax per four-pack with a limit of six four-packs per person. The second beer being released is El Dorado Vice, a single-hop New England IPA featuring 6.9% ABV. El Dorado was born and bred in the Yakima Valley and has found its way into many New England IPAs recently. It is front and center in this edition of the Vice series, bursting with tropical fruit notes. El Dorado Vice will retail for $17.99 plus tax per four-pack with a limit of six four-packs per person. For event logistics and more, check out Masthead Brewing Company on Facebook. At Warped Wing, they believe that their passion for craft beer brings a unique approach to the Dayton, Ohio beer scene. They share enthusiasm for local community development and are committed to brewing well-crafted beers that Daytonians and Ohioans can embrace. Throughout the year, Warped Wing will partner with local nonprofit charities. Every Tuesday, they will donate $1 for every pint sold to the selected nonprofit organization. Join them on Tuesday, December 4th at 5 p.m. in support of their friends at Equitus Health. For more information, check out Warped Wing on Facebook. Mark Bona of Cleveland.com is reporting that Medina's Blue Heron Brewery is nearing its opening. A date has not yet been set as the folks behind Blue Heron are waiting on the brewing permit. For more information on this brewery and event space, check out Mark's article on Cleveland.com. 
Rick Arman of Ohio.com is reporting that Fathead's Brewery is teaming up with a Special Wish Foundation Cleveland chapter for a special fundraising beer. A Special Wish Ale is a 6% pale ale that will be available on draft starting Tuesday, December 4th at all Fathead's, Barrio, and Lizardville locations throughout the end of the year. Part of the proceeds from a Special Wish Ale will be donated to a Special Wish Foundation and will be used to grant wishes for children with life-threatening diseases. For more information, check out Rick's article on Ohio.com. And that'll do it for this week's edition of The Tasting Glass here on the Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News Network. Check out the Jolly Scholar Grand Finale with Matt Van and myself discussing the Scholar's Tyndall Effect New England IPA at the taproomexclusive.com slash episodes. And tune in Tuesday for the premiere of my Franklin Brewing Company feature. You can subscribe to the show on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and Podbean. Follow the show on Twitter at Taproom Podcast and like the show's Facebook page at facebook.com slash the taproom exclusive. To subscribe to Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News, go to facebook.com slash N-E-O-C-B-N. As always, this is Dean Zarball telling you to please drink responsibly.